Konnichiwa Shinobi. It's the third episode part. You know what that mean? Hmm? Normally it mean cancel. I wonder if it mean cancel. I've made a little bit of progress since last time. We found the home that I wanted and I've set up shop, I've set up chests, I've set up a safe with a skeleton skull. I found a world mystery, I found more vials of these DNA, and I set up an enchantment thing, and a portal, uh, a waypoint, and now we're here. Oh wait, I flooded outside too. I forgot to mention that. I casually... <laughs> I made a river. Uh, I thought... I like waterfalls, and I wanted a waterfall, so I made these converge into a river in front of the little cave bit, and then run down into water. Which is nice! It is very cool, and I've also got rid of most of the grass off of this area with water buckets. Oh right, I have someone that I want you all to meet! Uh, a very special someone. Say hello! To my sensei. Hello! Mishina Uzumaki. Yes, she is naturally a redhead, but she likes dyeing it with uh, cocoa beans. They use fire style and they use shadow clones. So with that introduction out of the way, I actually want to make a house here. Because I thought about it and I thought, hmm, nice river with these stepping stones. Going into a waterfall. I'll have a little part here that'll be nice, a little outside part. And then over here, a little home type area. I'm gonna be living with Sensei because there's literally nowhere else for me to go and I haven't, uh, we haven't got an actual place to live so Sensei's making me build it. Uh, as part of my training, if I'm ever on mission, I need to be able to make a five star uh, restaurant, a uh, home, and other such things. If it's not five star, then I failed and I have to start again. Which, you know, is a. Uh, it's cruel, but it's. Uh, it's not fair either. It's just cruel. <laughs> so, normally when I get an odd shape like this, this is what I do. I just mark out the, the corner points and see how that works. Uh, if I recall, cobblestone bottoms work nice. Just boop, boop, bing, bong, bing. Yes! Maybe. Here's what I like doing with these. I like uh, a little front bit, so I want it to come out slightly. Like here. Because in Japanese walk-ins, they have the front door. Front doors in this case, I want a double door. And uh, then it goes down a level. And also, <laughs> maybe I need to move this to the side. This could take a while. Let me do the outlining. <laughs> I hope we do a good job. Machina Sensei says we get curry if we do a good job. That's the favorite dish. That is my favorite dish. That is what they are really good at making. And I want some. Each time I think I've got the right amount of room that I want, I, I realize I want more. Uh, building small houses is not my thing. I love trying to complicate things. It's all for Machina Sensei. Machina Sensei has just confirmed to me that yes, I do have to move the chest if I want to build there. Ay ay ay. I hate doing this. Now I gotta search for it for the chest. There. So what I'm trying to do currently is map out the general house structure and where the support pillars would be. Obviously, the edges of the house, but also on the inside of the house. Like here, this is a very important pillar, the center pillar. Here, also important, it's between these two beams. It needs to be there to stable the uh, the wooden panels above. It's little things like that in uh, Minecraft building that makes something feel, I don't know, authentic? I'm not sure what the word you would use is. But it helps. And now what I'm doing is inserting gravel. Because 
Uh, Japanese houses, or the ones that I've looked at, uh, the old style, they're often raised up. So you come into the house, you have the floor here that's uh, generally made of wood, and then here it raises a level. And that's so you know to take your shoes off here and put your coat up and everything else. Uh, and you walk around the house in clean feet. And uh, gravel here is because I want an outside walk. So often in Japanese houses you would have sliding uh, paper doors. So I'm thinking one here and one here where the kitchen would be. And then I also have to make an upstairs to the house, because uh, we need separate bedrooms. And I guess I also have to build a bathroom and other stuff. My motto is, if it makes the build feel more authentic, do it. It doesn't mean... It doesn't have to have a function. You don't have to make an entire sewer system and an entire, uh, you know actual digestive system in Minecraft to be able to enjoy, <laughs> you know, building stuff like a kitchen. You know, you can put food in a furnace anytime. It will, it will do nothing benefiting your survival to have a kitchen. But <laughs> it can improve your enjoyment and your immersion in the game. I don't think a lot of people get that when it comes to stuff like this. You know, your immersion with inside a game is just as important as um, collecting items, leveling up, blah, 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 blah. Because not only does it give you something that you can create and, you know, helps get you in the mindset of you're in this world, this fantasy world. It also means you have something that you want to protect against. And if something happens to, say, a mob that you named... Or, uh, say, like, my, my sensei. Then you're gonna actually kind of be genuinely upset. I doubt you want to be genuinely upset, though, so let's not. Uh, what I want here is this. I want slabs. And then on top of those, like, this is a walkway around the house. So... Probably here. We're not going to want this. This is all going to be a door. But here we're going to want to bing bong, bing 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 bing. We want it going around. And then here, place center one so it bounces out. Uh, center, center one meaning it's connecting there and there so you need something to balance it while you're walking on it. Yeah, we want a fence on the outside too, so we don't accidentally slip off. Then we put the barrier on top, like so. If my friends are watching this video, they know exactly what I'm doing, because this should seem very familiar to something I did a while back. Uh, and what can I say? I really liked the build I made, so I want to kind of revive it a little bit. Uh, one neat trick that I did in this build is I had the sizes change, so you got this, this big, this big, and then on top of that you shrink it to the minimum size, that, and then you enlarge it again, so it, it's got this nice curve structure. And what block are we gonna use? Ah, we gotta mix the dark and the light, the yin and the yang, to make it look like this. I accidentally placed block itself, and now I am a little upset. There, walk away done. Uh, now to do the actual flooring inside the house. Should do that immediately.
I know I have carpenter's blocks to do this kind of thing, but I just tried them, they are not working today. Build a little table in the living room. That is too big. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of space here. So it will, well, it's gonna be me and Sensei living together, so. You know, that's actually not bad. Then replace these. We have chairs. There we go. Seats. And... Carpet. I want a different color though. Mm. Red for the sake of the Uchiha. Then on top of the table. That not work? Why you not work? I know why it didn't work. Okay, this time it'll work, I hope. Yes! Yes! Now we put in seats for me and Sensei. There we go. Put in the ceiling and we need lights. Desperately need lights. Need light bulbs. Oh, what are you doing here? Uh, Sensei? Sensei? Okay, Sensei can't hear me. Sensei can't hear me. Get away, get away, get away. <sighs> Don't know where they came from. Doesn't matter. Sensei would have just been all like, You're alive, ain't ya? That means you're good. And I would have been like, oh frick yes, I am alive. Thank you for notifying me, I forget. I hate working with lava. For many, many, many reasons. It's the only way to do this. You know, something strange. I can't hear the double jump whoosh in the nether. And I'm wondering if that's because of something to do with Sakura's mod. Or if it's something to do with what's happening here. What is biting me? Light bulbs. Oh, you practicing Jutsu Sensei? I'll, I'll let you continue practicing hand signs. There. That's gotta be good for Sensei, right? Since I really just want to practice jutsu right now. Or maybe just signing. It's fine. I'll, I'll continue all the work. Good morrow! Okay, so this is how we do the sliding doors. Ooh. Just like that. That is how we're gonna do it. But Liam, why don't you get Minecraft come alive? You know what to make Minecraft come alive. Why don't you do that? Why don't you get friends? Why don't you continue XYZ series? Just let me enjoy what we have, please. Sensei, please. Just let me enjoy what I have. 
You know how rare it is to feel joy? It's as rare as an Uchiha having a family member. Ah, there we go. And now I hit it with a hammer. Bam! Beautiful. Uh... Let's see. Now nah, this one. Yes! Beautiful. That one's always the hardest to put in. Then we go boop, boop, and make the top one. Yeah. Just like that. Okay, Sensei and I were both a little tired. We're both really, really, really hot. Me so more than her and I think it's about time to call it quits it's time to stop playing games get back to doing work stuff uh, but we do have this living room so we'll be nice and safe we'll just have to keep these doors locked and stay in here for now sensei seems to be so excited that they're glitching through the floor but I would consider this a bit of a success. So at least we had success like that. As always, we have no idea if there'll ever be a next time, so this might be the last time. Bye bye.